Here is the common problem. A woman notices an unusual discharge, assumes it's yeast infection, and goes to buy an antifungal cream. A week, a week later, the problem is still there. Why? Because it wasn't yeast infection, it was bacterial vaginosis. This confusion happens to millions of women, and it happens because the treatment for yeast infection differs from that of bacterial vaginosis. In this video, we'll break it all down. The difference between bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection and how to tell the, which one you might be dealing with. Hi, I'm Happiness, a nursing student. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about real health topics that actually matter, especially for women. Let's to define what yeast infection is and bacterial vaginosis. Yeast infection, this is an overgrowth of a fungus called candida why bacterial vaginosis this is imbalance of um, vagina bacteria that that is the bad bacteria outnumbering the good bacteria so here is a scenario think of yeast infection as a weed in a garden going wild why, why bacterial vaginosis this is the garden's balance being this now we are going to talk on the main difference in symptoms one for yeast infection in terms of yeast discharge yeast infection often causes thick white cottage cheese like discharge why bacterial vaginosis causes watery thin gray discharge which is often accompanied with fishy smell doesn't for yeast infection it doesn't have a strong odor compared to bacterial vaginosis for yeast infection under itching and irritation yeast infection often causes strong itching and redness in the vagina while bacterial vaginosis causes very little itching or no irritation third is smell in terms of smell yeast infection has little or no smell at all while bacterial vaginosis has very strong fishy smell especially after sex the fourth is pain or burning yeast infection often causes burning during urination and pain during sex bacterial vaginosis may not cause pain but it causes discomfort next we are going to talk on the causes of yeast infection and also bacterial vaginosis yeast infection is caused by one excessive taking of antibiotics two wearing tight clothing three weakened immunity four hormonal changes and five sugary diets now we are going to talk on causes of bacterial vaginosis one multiple partners two new, a new partner three smoking four douching five lack of healthy vagina bacteria now we are going to talk on the treatment differences between bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection yeast infection is treated with antifungal creams or oral fungal medication why bacterial vaginosis is treated with antibiotics which is prescribed by your doctor so here is one thing you should know here is one thing you should know treating bacterial vaginosis with antifungal won't work treating yeast infection with antibiotics makes it worse now if you notice these signs go see your doctor immediately one if the symptoms are unclear and recurring you need to go visit your doctor the second is if you are pregnant bacterial vaginosis increases the risk of complications in pregnancy the third is if you notice sores fever or unusual discharge you need to see your doctor so i'm going to talk on how to prevent these infections one avoid douching two avoid wearing tight clothing three wear breathable cotton underwears four maintain a healthy diet adding a probiotic fourth is safe sex practice while fifth is manage stress and also excessive antibiotics especially without prescription and here is something very important bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection may look alike but they are very different 
yeast infection itches and burns why bacterial vaginosis smells and also feels off balance and also the treatments are completely different so when you experience some symptoms don't guess listen to your body and, and when in doubt go visit your doctor if you found this video helpful share it to someone who needs it and don't forget to like and subscribe to happy's medics for more real and powerful women's health tips and see you in my next video bye